but I did want to try wheelies. I'm hey. What does this ride hold for us? <clears throat> Okay, so welcome back everybody. Today, we're, we have a new GoPro. This happened to the other one. And uh, we are riding, we also have the Super View or the Max Lens Mod on the GoPro. So it's probably a little bit wider. Not a crazy ride today. We're just kind of kicking it in the neighborhoods, getting out and uh, it's kind of rainy today. There's not really much going on, but I figured I would get out and post a video. Especially since last week. Just last week, we got 130 subscribers. That's, that's a good week for my channel. That's a great week. So welcome to all the new people. The bike we're riding is the Suron X Light V Edition. Yeah, like I said, it's kind of rainy today. It's not sunny at all. A little bit dark, a little bit dingy. But that's okay because it really doesn't matter. <laughs> it's like 80 degrees right now. This, where I'm at in Florida doesn't really get cold. Uh, right after it rains, it's back to a summer day. So, But like I said, we're just taking a cruise through the neighborhood, needing to get out. And uh, yeah, just take a good ride. So all that excitement, let me check real quick. Okay, so let's go left and just ride through this one of my favorite roads just to ride. But all that excitement on TikTok, I thought it was gonna slow down a little bit. I mean, I went from 2,000 to like, I think I'm at 20,000 subscribers followers right now. It's crazy, it's just so much that I can't even, I don't even know what to do. It's, it's insanity, I never, I expect, I mean like, I was looking forward to it, but I never really understood what one video with seven million views can can change. It's crazy. So much, so much different. So much different. It's, it's it's like I tried for a while to respond to every comment. Like I tried. And I thought I was doing a good job, but then I just looked at the sheer amount of actual comments that I was getting on, on all the videos. I mean, all the videos are like, everything I'm posting right now is hitting, you know, 20,000, it's crazy. But if you're here and you're new, welcome. If you're an OG, welcome back. It's, uh, it's kind of stormy today, not really much going on. <clears throat> but I did want to try wheelies, I'm learning. I've got to where I can drag my feet with the wheelies. So that's better. Next is putting my feet up. So let's try one real quick. Ooh, no. Ooh. It's pretty fun. Pretty good times. Try to get There's the balance point right there. All right. So yeah, I was at first kind of walking, sitting on the seat, but using the seat as the balance, you know, staying very planted in the seat. And I would kind of kick for a while, and then I started dragging my feet, and next is me actually putting my feet up. 
doing seated wheelies. That's what's next. So yeah, crazy, uh, crazy social media week. Crazy growth on here on YouTube. Good growth on Instagram. And, uh, yeah, it's been fun. It's been fun. <laughs> I tried to get some new handlebars. I actually ordered some some riser bars and uh, I thought they were going to fit but that was a negative they did not fit and they were too small for the, uh, the stem to grab a hold of so I had to send them back which is kind of a bummer Which was kind of a bummer. So I wanted to bring the handlebars up just a little bit. I'm still gonna get some riser bars, probably upgrade the brakes and the sprocket soon. Then we're gonna go into the controller and the battery and I'm a DIY head, so I got a lot of plans for this bike. Lean and We got about 200 miles on it right now so far so far nothing's broke no issues nothing at all which is exactly what i'm looking for i just want a bike that i can go and put my shit in put my key in and then i'm ready to go that's what i'm looking for me personally and braking helps so much. If you didn't know, these things have regenerative braking. So when you let off the gas, the motor creates some resistance to help slow the bike down so you're not eating your brakes away, which is good. All right, so let's go right. And then we'll go do the back roads a little bit and then uh, we'll come back. That'll be the end of the ride. Yeah, so I'm always clicking this selector from sport to eco or EP whatever and uh, that's just simply to get the the non-region braking I can just hit it flip the throttle and we're coasting just like a bicycle hit region and then start slowing you down but just an easy way to go back and forth between uh, modes let's go through here Cat. Little kitten. This is why I like to serve on. I just go wherever I want. Oh, shit. It is so gray today. There is no sunshine that's out. It's hot. Well, I mean, it's 75 ish. So it's kind of hot, but. Nothing crazy. I want to see this gate is usually not open, but I want to see if uh, I can go make a lap around the track before we get caught, before they say anything. 
We're gonna go see if we can do a lap around the, uh, the baseball or bat, uh, football field. Nice stadium. Yeah, they're doing construction, so. Huh. Yeah, they're doing construction, so we'll probably not do the lap today. Oh, I will give you guys a tip on riding a bike, a dirt bike, or any bike, really. If you see people and they're going slow, they're just like creeping and they're doing this, and they're very unstable. And you want to, to, to go get better at going slow, uh, the pressure on your back brake will keep you steady. So as long as you apply a little bit of pressure, you can literally go almost as slow as you want. And it'll keep you stable, which is cool. So if you're going through a trail or through a fence or through a gate or something, as long as you keep that back brake just a little bit and keep the, keep the gas going, see that? You'll stay straight and you won't be like this, trying to balance at slow speeds. Pretty cool little tip. Let's do another foot drag wheelie while we're here. Let's see if we can do it to the blue dumpster. That's probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 11, 12. That's like 15 spots. There's no way this is gonna happen, but we're gonna try it anyways. Ready? All right. Hey. Uh -huh. Now we got six or seven spots. I'm still very rough at wheelies. I can do them on a four wheeler, like an ATV, for like as long as I could have uh, space to do them, but I never really got to learn them on a bike too much because I mainly drove uh, four wheelers versus dirt bikes. So it'll take me a minute, but once I get it, once I feel that balance point, that's what I'm looking for. Pretty cool uh, on some of the videos that like kind of popped and blew up. Oh, we got rain, great. On the ones that popped and blew up, there was a couple of people from Fort Walton that were like, yo, shout out Fort Walton Beach. So that's cool, we got some people in our city that are uh, watching. So that's kind of, that's cool, I love that. Also, when you're riding, don't put pressure on the bars. Don't lean on the bars. You wanna be able to have like basically noodle arms and just let the bike kind of steer itself. It makes life so much easier than trying to fight. And also, uh, you don't want really your body input too much affecting the steering unless you want it to. So when you're going into a corner, you're like very light. When you're riding a bike, you're very light on the grips. You're not leaning on them. You're just kind of, I mean, just barely, right? That's what you want. You want the bike to steer itself. And it's raining now, so I'm gonna get back to the house ASAP. To remember to stop on some of these stop signs because it's like a neighborhood nobody really rides through here too much but yeah when you're riding you want to be sitting comfortably and then have
have your arms relaxed. You don't want to be leaning and pushing on the bars. That, that's going to give input to the steering that you don't want. Because, you know, you might try to adjust subconsciously. So, anyways, I hope that hit. I hope that helps. I hope you guys enjoyed the ride. It wasn't really like a crazy ride, but we had fun, so. Excuse my yard. It's being redone. It's being redone. All right, we're back. We barely missed the rain. So if you like these videos, like, comment, share, subscribe, join the family, join the channel, follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram, follow me here on YouTube. And uh, yeah, I appreciate all the new people. Holy crap, 20,000, that's insane. That's insane. So I'll see you guys in the next video, peace. Best phone holder ever. They're like 15 bucks off Amazon. Okay.